Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from MechTech Keyboards. And today, we're taking a look at a new keycap set from Dami Key. It's called Productivity. Now, if you work with Adobe products, um, like Adobe Illustrator, uh, After Effects, Photoshop, these keycaps might be one set for you guys to consider. Now, I've been a big fan of Dami Key keycaps. Dami Key in my opinion, is better quality than GMK. But that's just my opinion. I know a lot of people are probably going to disagree with me on that. But this keycap set was sent out to me by KP Republic. Uh, they're very kind. and They give me a chance to check out uh, a lot of these Dami key sets, though I have purchased a few of my on my own as well, uh, because not only do I think they look good, legends are nice, but there's no shine that develops on them, and they sound pretty darn good. So this is the productivity set. Now there's different um, additional kits that you can get depending on which specific um, program that you're using for Adobe. But you also have these stickers that we can put on Relegendable caps. Now I love Relegendable re caps. I think more keycap sets should include them but they just don't for some reason so let's go ahead and take a look at these and see what we've got all right so here we have the primary um, main keycap set of the base and they actually these are this is a new container type system and i gotta say i kind of like it it's stackable they lock onto each other and we can take these out and see oh there's the be legendable keys over here oh we've got quite a few relegendable keys and it looks like we're kitted out pretty well so I'll take this cover off so just taking a look at the base set it does look like we have nice kitting here we have a standard 6.25 there we have a couple of split space bars here we have the 7u space bar and a couple more splits and blanks for some of the split keyboards. Um, we have a super key as opposed to a Windows key. We have some volume control keys and we have quite a few relegendable keys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine relegendable keys that look to be all R1. And these keycaps, in order to avoid get any scratches on them i like to use a plastic spudger so basically you're trying to push the top plastic part off so you can get to the legends and these wow they're pretty shiny um now not only could you use these stickers but you could also make your own i've seen quite a few um uh templates for making legends for these relegendable keycaps oh actually there's 12 10 11 12 i didn't count those three, or did I? Oh no, I did. Never mind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No, oh, okay. I had not counted those. Nice. So here we see that we have some media controls: um, select, copy, paste, or cut and uh, stop. Next chapter: fast forward, effects, text. Uh, merging timelines. It's been a while since I've used After Effects. Or would this be After Effects or do they still call it Premiere? I'm not even sure it's been so long. I've been on Linux for so long. Here we have some Adobe Photoshop ones. Yep. Oh no, this looks like Adobe Illustrator because it has the pen tool. These look like Adobe Photoshop. And some of these, I, I mean, you can basically assign your own, you know, value to some of these because they're, they're kind of general. Like, I mean, the paint bucket, select color, and of course the multimedia keys. Okay, we're going to go ahead and let's do one of these. What's, what's one that I know I use a lot? And I would like to map a keyboard key to. 
I'm going to do this little bullseye one. I'll take it. And once these are applied, they pretty much are in place. So you want to make sure that you get them nice and aligned. I'm going to go ahead and use tweezers. I swear, cat hair gets everywhere. So if you can see, it matches the color quite well. And once we put... find the plastic top. Once we put the plastic top back on there, it really does look like that is the key. And I really don't understand why more keycap sets don't come with wheat vegetables. I do wish that this one had more row alternatives because this is pretty much the top row, but most people are going to assign function keys to these. Um, so that is a nice option. Let's go ahead and take a look. This is, they have different productivity sets for different um, applications. All right, so we have three different base kits and three different um, extras or kits. The base ones are graphic, film, and official. And I believe that I got the graphic, if I'm not mistaken, or did I get the official? I can't even remember. This one right here is the um, graphic, and then they have the film as well as the official. Now the film has uh, purple lavender keycaps, and the official just has more keycaps like this. Go ahead and pop this off. So yeah, these are definitely I mean, we got select, save, no redraw, so we can replace a lot of the modifier keys with actual novelty keys that match our particular field of work, or at least the field of work for that day. Taking a look at these keycaps, they are lovely double shot keycaps. So as you can see with some of these keys, uh, they are double shot PBT, but they also have they don't call it die sub, they call it silk screen or these front legends on some of these. So I think I did get graphic for both because they do match the colorways on here and here. And I got to say, I mean, this is a, I know they call it a black, but this is closer to a gray, in my opinion, a really dark gray, not quite a black. But I do, do really enjoy those legends. They're nice and big. They're rounded. They're not sharp. They're just nice and rounded, and they look really nice. Now, let's see how thick these keycaps are. You're dealing with 1.6 millimeter keycaps, so we know that these are going to sound very nice, as not only are they PBT, but they're nice and thick. So, as we can see, they are extremely well kitted out. I... Honestly, can't think of too many key or keyboards that these would not immediately just work on uh, the way they are out of the box. And I gotta say, I like the um, I like these trays. They take up minimal space, yet they hold plenty of keycaps. I gotta be honest, I kind of want to buy some of these blanks. <laughs> um, granted, I think only charities would fit me here but that's not that big of a problem they could probably make them a little bit taller so we could store some sa but i like that they have a lid for the top and then they stack on top of each other and they just lock into place so that is definitely a nice feature and i feel that i just can't say this enough but more keycap sets need to come with we legendable keycaps because this, for a lot of people, if they just want to print out their own legends, they want to make a specific key, whether it be for a game or a program they use or a shortcut in the command line or a macro or what have you. Um, having relegendable keys that match the base color of the key camp set that you're using, it's always nice. And I mean, obviously, you can always add a little bit more color and flair to these uh, stickers. But... 
pretty much once you put them on there, they're going to bond pretty well with the keycap. I think that if you try to take them off, they'll probably tear. So today I am going to do the sound test on um, this little 65%. There's been so many aluminum 65% that have come out as of late, but uh, this one I have been using on and off. It's the INKC65, which was also sent to me a while ago from uh, KP Republic. It is quite a nice and solid 65% um, key that has a blocker right here. You can actually take this blocker off and put a key there, but I, I kind of like the little piggy. I think he's cute. I've loaded these up with CIY Azura. They're a hyper tactile switch, which I first reviewed from KPR. They sent me a set and then I ended up buying <laughs> a couple of hundred um, from AliExpress. It was a, a deal, I think it was 250 switches and they came out to like oh, i want to say like six or seven cents a piece so i have quite a few of these and i have been using them a lot they're they're probably in third place uh, behind the the u4t and a couple that are buying for second place probably in the third place is my favorite tactiles they become very fun to use not only are they a nice heavy bump tactile which I quite enjoy but they also sound pretty good they're a deeper tone and even though being CIY which the CIY switches I'd used before just they required some lubing to even sound halfway decent these right out of the box or the bag they sound just nice so I'm gonna go ahead and load up these Dami keys the Dami key productivity graphic set onto this INKC65. I'm going to go ahead and take a couple more looks at it and then we'll do a sound test. Well, here we are loaded up with the Dami Key Productivity Key Camps. And one thing that I found that I was able to actually add the, um, the extra kit and just stack it right along with it. If, um, if Dami Key is watching, I honestly, I would buy these, uh, these trays for key cap sets. I would love to store key caps in these boxes and it would make it so much easier to organize and take up a lot less room than I'm currently taking up. I love that I can store the stickers right under there. And then there we go. So I, I tried to use a a few of the modifier key caps. Um, I do, I am working on a big board and I think I'm gonna use uh, this key cap set on it uh, when I do that build, but I just wanted to go ahead and get um, my initial impression and review of these out. I do plan to use them over the next month and then do kind of a follow-up report. I have, um, there's some keycap sets that I like when I get them, then I use them for a while and then they start to shine. So these uh, sound real crunchy. One of my favorite sound profiles, not rocky, crunchy, crunchy. Of course, we've got some nice flex on here. Um, I was not able to find a row one delete uh, key, which I found kind of odd. And these appear to be like R2 because of the height. But I'll have to take a look at them a little bit closer. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a sound test of the Dami Key Productivity Keycap Set. They're double shot PVT, 1.6 millimeters. Uh, with some really nice sub legends, especially if you're working with Adobe Photoshop, uh, at After Effects, Illustrator, any of the Adobe design tools, and even other design tools, these are still going to basically work as well. I mean, you can map them to whatever you like, but for the most part, the symbols on the um, legends are going to be very similar as they are in GIMP or as they are in Inkscape or whichever program uh, that you use. So you could really customize this not only by 
which keys you use, but also by the Relegendables and all the stickers that are available on the 12 Relegendable keys. If there's any other keycap manufacturers out there, look at Dami Key and follow their footprints. Put Relegendable keycaps in your sets because it gives the end user a lot more customization. And even though I may have this productivity set, somebody else could have another productivity set and they're going to use different stickers, which so is going to be unique and individual to each and every one. If you guys have any questions or comments, put it, please place them down in the section below. I do my best to answer questions as quickly as possible. And if you guys have any specific keyboard and switch combination that you'd like to see me uh, use these with, please let me know because I, like I said, I intend to use this. I'm going to switch these out from a couple of different keyboards, but I'm going to use them on this for right now. I know I went with the, uh, sometimes I like to go with clashing colors. Sometimes I like to go with matching colors. I thought this was a good combination. I like it. Um, it doesn't necessarily, you know, follow any sort of color uh, guide or co color wheel pattern, but it's pleasant to me. And gray and blue are some of my favorite colors. I know some people will say this is black. This is a dark gray. As always, fellow humans, until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.